Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The TFX is Turkey's fifth generation fighter jet program that looks very similar to Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II. The fighter jet is aimed to replace the Turkish Air Force F-16 fighters which are to be phased out by 2030s. As per the reports from various sources, Pakistan has also joined hands with Turkey on the development of this TFX program. It's also being reported that the CEO of Turkish Aerospace Industry has also said that TAI is going to relocate some of its operation to Pakistan by end of this year. Now, Turkey has suffered heavy economic losses post Kartsa sanction and recently after being moved to the grey list of FATF. At the same time, Pakistan have been in grey list for quite some time since 2018 and the country is heavily debt ridden. It would be quite interesting to see how two countries suffering from poor economy would invest into a billion dollar fighter jet development program. It's also being reported that TFX fighter jet program will now be redesigned and modified by PAC and merged with Project Ajams NGFA of Pakistan to meet common requirements of the air forces of Turkey and Pakistan. The development and know-how of the aircraft will be shared between Pakistan and Turkey. This is aimed to reduce overall cost of the project and shorten the schedule. There are news that TFX will be ready before India's fifth generation fighter jet MKA giving Pakistan Air Force edge over Indian Air Force. If we look at the TFX development timeline, on March 18, 2023, the TFX MMU will be unveiled for the first time with a maiden flight scheduled for 2026. The fighter jet is expected to enter production no earlier than 2029 or 2030 as it will take at least two to three years or even more to fix various issues post its first flight. If we talk about MCA, its prototype will also take first flight by 2026, post which it will enter into limited series production between 2028 to 2029 and full scale production by 2031. Therefore, nowhere MCA is behind the schedule when compared with TFX program. While Pakistan will have to invest for the development of fighter jet, they will also have to look for funds to order for production of the fighter jets when the development is complete. Considering the present economic condition of the country, it's going to be very challenging for them. At present, there is no confirmation or clarity on the number of TFX fighters that Pakistan Air Force will be looking for. At the same time, Indian Air Force modernization roadmap involves the deployment of around 126 stealth fighters which is close to 6 squadrons consisting of 36 MK MK1 and 90 MK MK2. The development of MK will happen in two phases. In phase 1, two squadrons of MK MK1 will be produced powered by American G414 engines. In phase 2, the four squadrons of MK MK2 will be produced which will be advanced version of MK with 6th generation technologies and it will be powered by indigenous engines likely to replace imported G414 engines. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.